Good day to everyone. I'm Mad Wataman, and welcome to another video here at Madodo's channel. For today's video, we are going to show you an update of a one-month-old system somewhere here in Kainta. And also, stay tuned at the end of this video so you can know the answers of some of the questions in the comment section in the previous videos. So follow me to start the walkthrough. Let's go to the fish tank over there at the back. So here is the maid, 1,200 liter capacity uh, fish tank. No, so this is a conical bottom fish tank um, where we feed the fish with uh, high protein pellets. So this fish tank uh, houses hito. So there's around 100 hito here. So let's zoom in on the hito. So these are high protein feeds. We have a uh, larger hito at the out outer part and some uh, hito also here in the inner uh, hapa so like so those are huge hito already uh, they're approximately uh, a month old no so we brought we brought them at around uh, 5 cm and now they're already approximately uh, 8 to 9 inches okay so the Hito is provided with uh, dissolved oxygen via an, air, via an air pump on the end of the uh, rain shelter. And then we have a solid lifting outlet over here. Then from the solid lifting outlet, it now goes to our main Duraflow filter over here on the uh, other side of the fish tank. So here, uh, in the main Duraflow filter, there are uh, bugs here, but that's okay because uh, we use electric swatters and uh, they drop down to the filter and they are fed to the Hito. No? So that's additional protein source for the Hito. Okay, so here we have the radial flow part and then after the radial flow part, it goes to a static media over here. And then from the static media, it now goes to the uh, second radial flow on the outer ring. And then from the second range of flow, it now goes to an MBBR over here. So this is the MBBR or moving bed bioreactor. In the MBBR, uh, ammonia that is produced by our fish is converted into nitrates, which then overflows to our grow bed over here. So this is our grow bed. So they started seedlings on our net cups over here. So we use pumice and we just uh, add the seeds here. And then when they are large enough we transfer them to the other net pots so here we have uh, five floating rafts so you can see the progression of the lettuce some of the lettuce are, are still yellow because this is just a month old so we expect that from a young system because the nutrients or the bacterial activity in the aquaponic system is not yet fully matured so as the system matures uh, you will see uh, greener and uh, more nutrients in your uh, grow bed or floating raft grow bed. So in the floating raft grow bed, it bubbles as our sump. So here we have a pump over here. So it's under the underneath the uh, styrofoam. Uh, let me see if I can lift the styrofoam up. It's already full of plants. There. So that's a very small pump, which then delivers water to our gravel beds over here. So this is our gravel bed. So again, we feed the Hito with high protein uh, pellets. So in the gravel bed, we have some okra. Uh, they're already flowering. We have some cucumber. So the cucumber already flowering and we they already harvested some of the uh, fruits here, okay? And in, on the other uh, part of the gravel bed, we have uh, some, uh, some more cucumber. It's already reaching the ceiling and it's already flowering. And we also have some eggplant. Uh, some uh, on the other side, they have bok choy. Okay. And they also have uh, tomatoes, okra, and here, uh, they have a uh, cucumber and uh, tomato that is 
supported with a, a wire trellis okay so they have fruits over there at the far end so and then all the gravel beds have bell siphons so let me reach a bell siphon over here so this is the bell siphon and this is a, a just a very basic PVC pipe 2 inch PVC pipe uh, with an end cap and uh, air hole or air breather hole at the bottom and we have a standpipe over here which controls the height of the water in the gravel bed and it drains back to our uh, floating raft or DWC or it doubles as our sump so in the DWC we also have some curly leaf lettuce some romaine lettuce okay and some Lolo Rosa on the other uh, floating raft and some Lalik, I think that's Lalik. So, here in the gravel bed, uh, sometimes we get uh, some pests, no? So what, what do we do with uh, pest management? So you hear the chickens at the back, they're, uh, they want to be in the part of the video, so they're uh, making some uh, noises, okay? So, what we do is we add uh, aromatic. So this is a sweet basil uh, seedling. We add aromatic herbs to the gravel bed and to the floating raft beds to produce a companion plant. No, so the the smell of the basil. So th these are basil seeds, uh, sweet basil seeds. So the smell of the sweet basil. Uh, repel some some of the pests no? so we just sprinkle it around uh, the wet part of the gravel bed so you see some moist parts we just sprinkle them around and then we also have a seedling tray over here so let's go underneath so you can also start seedlings here the seedling tray so in the seedling tray we have some uh, uh, talong, I think that, and some chili chili plants. No, so we'll start some basil plants over there too. And of course, uh, you can also add this to the net pot. Uh, let me try to reach a net pot later. No, uh, we also have uh, some lettuce seeds here. So sometimes, uh, let me see if I can go there. No, so it's a bit tight over here. No. So here are some empty net pots. So again, we can put some basil seeds there. And then we also have lettuce seeds here. These are basic romaine lettuce. So you can start, you can add uh, in one net pot and then just transplant them uh, when they reach uh, two weeks no? or 14 days. Okay, so we'll just transplant them or you can also reseed here in the gravel. Just sprinkle here in the wet part of the gravel and then when they uh, germinate in two weeks you can transplant them in the uh, rafts okay so let me uh, keep this first in, the, in my pocket okay so Again, to recap, let's go here to recap the aqua point system. So this is a 10 row bed aquaponic system. So this is an integrated system because it's a mixture of uh, DWC or deep water culture and uh, media based beds or flood and drain grow beds, gravel beds. Uh, this uh, system is for their own consumption so this is not for a commercial uh, purpose system no this, this is not a commercial purpose system so the owner opted to have a mixture of dwc rafts and uh media based uh, gravel beds why because uh you can have a lot of variety of uh you can grow a lot of uh, plants uh by using an integrated system so in a commercial system it's uh it's better to have dwc uh, but in a backyard system, it's better to have uh, uh, media-based beds. Also, because uh, they want it to be, they want to grow more uh, types of vegetables and be more flexible. 
they all tend to have an integrated uh, mix uh, type of system okay so before we end the, the video I promised I'd answer some of the comments in the uh, previous videos no? so in the previous videos uh, some of the viewers asked us what type of fish can we grow in an aquaponic system okay so in an aquaponic system like this one uh, this is a freshwater aquaponic system so in a freshwater aquaponic system you can grow several varieties of freshwater uh, fish no example uh, in our pre uh, in, the, in our previous video we grow red tilapia no so red tilapia here is also known as the kingfish uh, aside from red tilapia you can also grow uh, black tilapia or the regular uh, tilapia you see in the market okay so aside from tilapia in this example we have hito so if you don't like tilapia you can also grow hito or catfish in english okay uh, and aside from catfish uh, you can grow pangasius or cream dory, no? So that's the fillet you see in the groceries, no? The one they use for fish fillet or fish and chips, uh, that's called uh, cream dory. And of course, you can grow ornamental fish like koi, Japanese koi, or you can grow uh, guppies, or you can grow any fresh water ornamental fish uh, in, in an aquaponic system, no? So again, the fish you can grow uh, you can grow a variety of fish in an aquaponic system. So, another question uh, we are asked is what type of plants can we grow in an aquaponic system? Again, this is a freshwater system. So, in the DWC, uh, we advise you to grow lettuce, like the ones you see here, different varieties. Uh, leafy greens such as pechay, uh, mustasa, uh, and uh, you can also grow bok choy, uh, the Chinese uh, pet chai, and kangkong, no? water spinach. Uh, and in the uh, uh, gravel bed, you can grow bushy types of plants such as tomato, uh, okra, uh, we have talong over there, of course we have the cucumber over here, uh, and some chili plants over there on the far side and other uh, bushy plants that need foundation so does the, gra the gravel bed serves as a foundation uh, for the plants or for the roots of the plants to anchor to no of course you can grow herbs here uh, in any of the type of uh, system you can grow mint here in the dwc and you can grow uh, basil here in the media base system so again uh, we can't answer all your questions because we get a lot of comments every day, no? We get a lot of messages every day. So we'll try to get the top comments or the top questions and we'll try to answer them at the end of every video. So if you have questions, if you have comments, don't forget to comment down below uh, your questions. You can also reach us on Facebook. Uh, our Facebook uh, page is Modular Aquaponics. Uh, don't forget to like share and hit the notification bell when you subscribe to the channel and again thank you for watching